Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all program I wrote to solve simultaneous equations. Two unknown simultaneous equations, not three unknowns, because I haven't reached there yet. And it's really useful when you're trying to like understand like how everything has happened, and it solves it for you, and it also shows you a step-by-step -step guideline. Well, it shows you how the sum is done step-by-step. So you can actually understand where every single number came from. Yeah. The example equations we're using in this one are 4x plus 8y equals 28 and 6x plus 10y equals 38. Um, solving it manually, we know x equals 3 and y equals 2. But we need to write the program to tell... We, we All we need to do is put in the coefficients of x and y and the results they give which is in this case 28 and 38 and when you put those in com the computer should be able to do all the work itself and then print it back at you and tell you and, and show it to you what happened and then give you at the end the answer is x equals 3 and y equals 2. To simplify it down we're going to break each equation into three parts. The 4x part, I'll take the first Equation 4x plus 8y equals 28. It's going to be broken down into three parts. 4x, 8y, no, plus 8y, and equals 28. Since we're not entering letters into the thing, we're only going to be using the coefficients of x and y, 4 and 8. So that's going to be, a is, a is going to be equal to 4, b is equal, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 28. And then the same with um, equation 2, but then it's going to be 8, 2 equals 6. And then b2 equals 10, and c2 equals 38. Now we're just going to tell it to print the equation we, the values we gave it, and then form an equation out of it. So it just takes the 4 and adds an x, takes an 8, adds a y, and then just adds an equal sign, etc. And then when we enter the coefficient of a, 4, the coefficient of a, um, b, which is 8, and then the last result, which is 28, it should form the equation for us. Starting the sum, the first thing we need to do is cancel one letter. So we only have one letter to deal with, since you know we can't solve it with two unknowns. And we're going to we're gonna cancel x's first. And the method we're using to cancel the x's is just multiplying whatever the first x is by the other one. Say, like, multiplying 4 by the other equation and then six minus six or minus four by the other equation so they always cancel each other out trying to find um multiples of factors is just gonna get gonna get really confusing so we'll, we'll take a basic and it will result in bigger numbers but the computer can handle it so it's fine we're not the ones calculating it then we print what's happening now that we have i don't know now that we have the letter cancelled, we need to deal with the equation and solve it. Okay, now we're going to divide each side by whatever letter is there and tell the computer to do that. And whatever answer it gets, we make it printed out. The first part of the equation is almost done. Now we just need to print y equals 2. And we have our first value. Now to sub it back into the original equation, do the same thing and just tidy it up. Then just tell it to solve it using the same um, method. Now that we have solved both answers, we need to know, say something went wrong. We need to have like a, a set of conditions to tell us whether the answer it gave us is right or not. And the way we can do that is sub so the two answers we got back into one of the original equations and if that if that if that value if that value is equal to the result say the first one 28 and when you sub it back in you also get 28 then it's going to print these two answers work and if it's not it's going to print error picking any number and telling it to solve it takes less than 10 seconds and it's really fast it's a great way to revise simultaneous equations, but I wouldn't really recommend it. I wouldn't recommend to use this to do your homework because what's the point then? It's 
not gonna do any good in the long run. If anyone wants the code, I'll leave it in the description. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below any questions you have. And hopefully I didn't turn this into one of those situations where you have more questions than before you watched. Anyway, see you all next time. And until then, and after then, stay safe.